Megan's a schemer. Tom Bow bites Megan's head off she married Harry to get spotlight and title. Royal biographer Tom Bauer believes Meghan Markle did not expect the realities of royal life before she returned to the US with her husband Prince Harry back in 2020. Meghan Markle's hopes of turning the royal family into a Hollywood celebrity game were dashed after claiming the royal title, author Tom Bauer has claimed. The royal biographer said he believed the former TV star struggled to accept the realities of royal life when she married Prince Harry, and became upset when she was denied her time in the spotlight. Speaking on Sunrise, Mr. Bauer said, she voluntarily came to England and married into the royal family and she must have known what that required. She had to be part of the team and support the Queen and play her part. And all she really did was complain because she wanted the spotlight, she wanted to be number one. She wanted to turn the royal family into a Hollywood celebrity game. I think she wanted the title, she wanted the fame, and then go back to California. Bauer recently made new claims about Meghan Markle's first marriage to Trevor Engelson, including that the Duchess allegedly abandoned the film producer to build a new life once she began finding fame on suits. In a wide-ranging interview about his new unauthorized royal biography, Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, the British writer and investigative journalist discussed the alleged change in the former Suits star's personality after she moved from her hometown of Los Angeles to Toronto, Canada, where she filmed the show. This was her last project as an actress before marrying Prince Harry. What's fascinating about Meghan's life is that she changed when she got to Toronto from LA, Bauer claimed to Palace Confidential host Joe Elvin on an episode of the Mail Plus podcast. Bauer claimed that Meghan never wanted to live with Trevor in LA and was determined to build a new life. Markle and Engelson began dating in 2004 and wed nearly seven years later in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, in 2011. They quietly divorced just two years later. Bauer added, Megan is a schemer, you never know, really, looking at Megan unless you're really far inside her mind, what she really thinks, what she really wants. Since Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex stepped down from their royal duties in 2020, there has been plenty of speculation over what the future holds for the couple. We know they have assigned a lucrative deal with Netflix, and Harry is rumored to release his anticipated memoir in the fall, via town and country. Some people also believe Meghan has her eye on a political career. I am now convinced there is something bigger going on here, an eventual plan that involves running for office in America, Dan Wooden wrote in the Daily Mail before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex officially stepped down. She's obsessed with US politics. I think we're the royal family, now just a stepping stone to something she considers far more important and attractive. In fact, before they left the UK, Harry and Meghan went against royal protocol to voice their opinions. They openly encouraged Americans to reject hate speech, misinformation, and online negativity and vote in the 2020 presidential election, for Reuters. And both made their feelings known after the US Supreme Court voted to overturn Roe v. Wade. In a conversation with Gloria Steinem for Vogue, Meghan even suggested that she will travel to Washington, D.C. soon. Yet Meghan's estranged brother is surprised that his half-sister is so politically active, and doesn't seem supportive of a possible run for office in the future. Although many have speculated that Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex might run for office, her half-brother alleged that she had a one-track mind when growing up, and it had nothing to do with politics. Never never got a sense that she was after anything political whatsoever, Thomas Markle Jr. said during an appearance on GB News. It was always fairy tales and princesses. Stories about princesses, that's what she focused on, 